Hello everyone. I am myself Dr. Rajesh Guba. I am the general medicine educator on an academy. So I have just started with a new series that is the clinical question of the day. And today is day one. And let me just show you the clinical question first. So before starting that, let me just give you the update from an academy. An academy has come up with two important batch courses. One for the FMG students appearing for the FMG exam in the month of December 2021 and another important batch course is next 2022 and to get subscribed to these batch courses you can use my code that is LiveMed wherein you will get an additional 10% discount on your subscriptions and these are the grantor series which are going on on the platform of an academy mainly for the students appearing for the upcoming NEET PG exam and the Unacademy has come up with a limited period offer wherein if you get subscribed to 24 months course or 24 months subscription, you will get 4 months subscription free and if you take 12 months subscription, you will get 2 months subscription free, right? And in order to take these particular subscriptions, you can use my code that is LiveMed wherein you will get an additional 10% discount on your subscriptions. Having said this, let me just come up to the clinical question of the day. So I have a 30 year old rugby player admitted to the emergency department with an enlarging swelling of the neck and you can just see that he has been involved in a particularly bad rugby tackle three days ago. Since then he has noticed swelling occurring over the left side of his neck and some weakness affecting the left shoulder although he has attributed this to a muscle strain. What worries him most is a specific problem with swallowing which has come on within last 48 hours. He is a fit man with no known history and is not taking any regular medication. On examination, he has large heart swelling over the left lateral aspect of the neck. There is evidence of left Horner syndrome. Examination of the cranial nerves reveal reduced palatal elevation of the left and weakness of the shoulder elevation on the left. Sensation and ocular movements are intact. Examination of the limbs does not reveal any abnormality. In view of the above findings, what is the likely diagnosis in this man? Right? So always in a clinical question, please read the last sentence. Whenever you read the last sentence, then you will come to know what exactly is the question about. Then you can read the clinical question from the beginning. So the options are the intracranial carotid artery dissection, extracranial vertebral artery dissection, extracranial carotid artery dissection, lateral medullary syndrome, intracranial vertebral artery dissection. Now, so you have a lengthy clinical history. Now, first, let me just summarize the history. The summary of the patient is that he is a 30 year old rugby player presented with enlarged swelling of the neck to the emergency department and that is second after a bad rugby tackle three days ago. What is that he is having? Swelling over the left side of the neck. What is the problem he is having now? Difficulty in swallowing and as well as weakness of the left shoulder. And there is also evidence of the left Horner syndrome and examination shows weakness of shoulder elevation on the left side. Sensation and ocular movement, they are completely intact. Now, what is the answer in this clinical question is, the answer is extracranial carotid artery dissection. Now, why the answer is C? Why not the answer, other options? I will rule out the other options as well when I am discussing this clinical question. Now, coming to your extracranial carotid artery dissection. Extracranial carotid artery dissection, what are the common causes? The common causes for the extracranial carotid artery dissection is number one, blunt trauma and the other one is arteriopathies. And which particular arteriopathy? That is mainly fibromuscular dysplasia is the commonest. And then other collagen vascular diseases also lead to extracranial carotid artery dissection. Now, in this patient, what is happening, that particular swelling which has come up from the extracranial carotid artery, that is nothing but your hematoma. And that particular hematoma is compressing the cranial nerves and as well as the sympathetic chain. Now, because it is compressing your ninth and 10th nerve, that is the reason why the individual is having difficulty in swallowing. And because it is compressing the 11th nerve, that is the reason why he is having difficulty in raising the left shoulder because 11th is the one which will supply to the trapezius and trapezius is the one which is required for raising the shoulders above 90 degrees and 
the hornet syndrome why is that he is having that is because of the compression of the hematoma over the sympathetic chain and this is the explanation why the answer is the extracranial carotid artery dissection now the question is why not the other options see first option was intracranial carotid artery dissection see in case of intracranial carotid artery dissection the presentation will be mainly in the form of headache or the individual can have major anterior circulation stroke. That is how the presentation will be there in case of intracranial carotid artery dissection or the individual sometimes can present even with subarachnoid hemorrhage. So these features are not there in our patient. This option is ruled out. Then you take extracranial vertebral artery dissection. That is your second option. See, vertebral artery, it is the vessel which is concerned with the posterior circulation. And whenever there is vertebral artery dissection, the individual will present with neck pain and there will be ischemia of the posterior circulation because vertebral artery on both the sides will unite to form the basilar artery which will give, to your which will give rise to your posterior circulation. So this will be the features if there is extracranial vertebral artery dissection. And you take the fourth option. Fourth option is lateral medullary syndrome. See, in case of lateral medullary syndrome, the vessels which are involved is vertebral artery and as well as posterior inferior cerebellar artery. When these vessels are blocked, then the individual will develop what is called lateral medullary syndrome or it is called as Wallenberg syndrome. Now, what will be the features of the lateral medullary syndrome? See, this lateral medullary syndrome, it is characterized by ipsilateral Hornet syndrome that is because of the involvement of sympathetic chain, ipsilateral reduced pain and temperature sensation of the face, right? Ipsilateral reduced pain and temperature sensation of the face, and there will be ipsilateral cranial nerve involvement, and there is contralateral loss of pain and temperature sensation. So these features are not there in our patient. What is there in our patient? There is ipsilateral Hornet syndrome. And there is also ipsilateral cranial nerve involvement that is palatal weakness is there on the left side. But in case of the lateral medullary syndrome, there should be ipsilateral reduced pain and temperature of the face and contralateral loss of pain and temperature because of the involvement of spinothalamic tract. These features are not there in our patient, so your lateral medullary syndrome is ruled out. And if you take the last option, that is intracranial vertebral artery dissection. See, whenever there is vertebral artery dissection, the individual will present with posterior circulation stroke. That is what you will have in case of intracranial vertebral artery dissection. So, this is the clinical question of the day. So, in this clinical question, what is the answer? The answer is extracranial carotid artery dissection. See, in the clinical questions always, you should be able to rule out the other options also by substantiating the clinical findings in the patient. So, if you have liked our video, please press the like button and comment on the video which helps us to improve ourselves to present to you. Thank you very much and see you again in the upcoming videos.